the production on the Obi-Wan series might actually happen before Cassian Endor. Man, Star Wars is all over the place. But yeah, let's talk about our update on Obi-Wan. So it's getting to the point where Star Wars is going to be pretty much everywhere when it comes to TV, specifically Disney+, Plus, and the films, well, they're going to take their times and try to get it right, which hopefully they do exactly that and they figure out everything ahead of schedule and then they sort of have a end goal and a solid start goal, because let's be real, that's sort of what they need, seems to be what they're doing with TV. And that seems to be working a lot better for them. So we know that there's multiple, up to five Star Wars series in development for Disney+. Plus. One of these that was announced about a year ago happens to be Obi-Wan. Actually, it might be two years now. It's been so long. Anyways, The Mandalorian is off to a good start. Cassie and Endor was the second one, and that's, uh, well, that's somewhere. But Obi-Wan seems like that that's going to happen sooner rather than later. Now, I use sooner relative or relatively soon, considering that we're hearing March of 2021 in Los Angeles is when it's going to start, and that the production and everything was sort of a uh, moved due to obviously the pandemic and everything, and from what they're saying is that they're going to go in a different direction with this one. It's going to be closed sets, aka they're going to have one facility or a couple facilities next to each other, and instead of going all around the planet to shoot in different locations to whatever they need, the sets are going to be designed to look like these locations so they don't have to endanger everybody and they don't have to worry about flights and interacting with people all over the world and then possibly stopping production. And again, this would make sense and they can of course utilize the volume which I might have called vacuum in another video. I was real tired. It doesn't matter. The volume, the vacuum, it's, it's all the same. It's an enclosed stage, it's, even though it's not the same name. You, you know what I'm saying. They could use the volume from the Mandalorian. It would honestly probably save them a lot of time and money, especially if you go into these sound stages and these new closed sets that you make and you scan everything. Once you tear them down, if you need reshoots, you can do it in that stage. So again, it sort of makes sense and I think March does sound pretty realistic because if they want to get it out about a year after, I mean 2022, you can't just survive on The Mandalorian alone, specifically if we don't know when they're going to start the third season because of everything. So again, they got to get in front of this instead of just sitting on it and if Obi-Wan is further than Cassian Endor, which I don't know how the hell that's possible, just get on it. 